G'day guys, going to do a quick recap video of the group stages for the 1v1 Valkyrie test tournament. Then I'll go through the final stage and what it will look like. Um, so first thing to note is the actual group letters don't match, so group A, group B, they don't match to the video descriptions, so don't try to match it up that way. Um, so in group A we had uh, Shata, Goro de Alba and Jutska coming through. Shata came first, which was a bit of a surprise to me, I thought uh, Jutska might have knocked him over uh, in, in two or two games, or at least a draw, but Chata actually won two games versus Jutska, as you saw in the videos. Uh, Liam uh, didn't make it through, losing to Chata and Juds, obviously, and Orange Pest came through uh, to sub in Skirtshell, and he didn't manage to win a game. But the two two guys, pretty much Jutska, the main mod maker, and Chata, who helps out a lot, came through and as predicted. Uh, group B, a uh, bit of a strange result, and he didn't come up first of this group. Uh, I managed to beat Miss Apples and Greek without losing a game, but Hansi surprisingly lost to Miss Apples and Greek, which is a bit of a shock for me. So he is placed second with two draws in there, so two ties with Miss Apple and Greek, and uh, I managed to uh, lose to Hansi twice, but still remain top of the group there. Uh, then Group C, we had Tedessa and Framas come through. Tedessa, uh, favorite, one of the favorites of the tournament, and he's coming coming through, but. Surprisingly, it was tested quite uh, a lot by Framaz. He lost one game to Framaz, he's got one tie. And Yuli lost the second game, to be honest. <laughs> it would have gone any way. So Framaz is looking very strong coming into this. And surprisingly, uh, it's pretty much his debut 1v1 tournament. So should be the um, force to be reckoned with in future ones, I think. But um, Konos, unfortunately, didn't make it through. He was actually predicted to come out second from Tedessa. Though Framaz uh, took him out in two games, I believe. And Rafi, unfortunately I didn't cast the games, but uh, Rafi fought vali valiantly, turned up, but uh, the games were pretty quick, around under 10 minutes for each of those games, and he didn't really make an impact, but nice nice try. Uh, group D, we have uh, Mr. Pringles coming up top, which is expected, but we didn't expect him to lose to Flapperjack, which uh, he did lose two games to Flapperjack, but won all games versus Nat Nat and Godwin. Uh, Flapperjack, for his efforts, didn't make it through. <laughs> Because he did draw a uh, loss to, uh, to he lost to Nat Nat, I think, and drawed with Godwin. Uh, Godwin fought well, but didn't actually win a game and tied twice and lost the two games to Pringles. So, as expected, Pringles is through. Uh, Nat Nat actually was expected to come out too, as well. And the only upset, I guess, is the Framaz. Framaz, uh, pretty much, is, is coming through. In terms of placing, there's a few upsets. But in terms of people coming out to the group stages, the top two, it's pretty much only Framaz in my opinion. So this is what the, the final stages look like. looks like. It's based on points, and then after that, based on uh, placing. So we've got Shutter versus Nat Nat. Should be an interesting game. <laughs> Both of them are considered, uh, considered to be uh, quite the competitors in terms of uh, gameplay-wise, and also in terms of verbal skills. So maybe the few, mouth few mouthing offs during the game, I'd like to be a fly on the wall on this one to just uh, watch the entertainment. <laughs> uh, me versus Framers uh, should be a tough one. Um, he's known to be extremely fast, so I think I'll struggle versus him. So I'm not uh, backing myself here, but uh, we'll see how I go. Uh, Tedessa and Hansi, uh, this is a, a pretty epic engagement, to be honest. This is probably my my round one match to, to watch because it's I think these these guys played in the last tournament in the grand final. The first Tedessa, second Hansi, and Hansi's pretty much placed second in all the tournaments. Uh, Tedessa came in the first tournament, first one v one tournament last time and won it. Um, so this one should be a good one to watch. Hansi placed uh, low for his, uh, I guess, for his skill level, in my opinion. But uh, it really depends on who you ask. But that's my opinion. Uh, then you got Pringles versus Jutska. Another very interesting game, which should be good, uh, just because the mod maker and uh, obviously has the skills, micro and knowledge. Mr. Pringles, um, the 1v1 king, or before he lost to the Dessa in last tournament. Um, so I think the lower bracket is going to be a bit of a tough one. Uh, it looks tougher on paper, but uh, the group stages did did uh, arrange this uh, this way. So it uh, should be an interesting tournament. My pick, let's see, let's see my picks. My picks for the first game is Shota, next one is Framaz, next one is uh, Tedessa, sorry Hansi, I'm predicting Tedessa will go through. 
uh, Pringles. The next one here would be Tedessa versus Pringles, then Tedessa. Tedessa's in the finals, then Shotter versus Fremaz. Ooh, I think Shotter. So I think it's Shotter and Mr. Tedessa final, perhaps. So I'll see you around, guys. I'll be casting most of the games, hopefully. And uh, have a good one.